Now, President Biden has introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope, the largest and most powerful ever launched into space. Its infrared capabilities enable it to peer through cosmic dust and clouds to detect light from the earliest stars. The first photograph showed an array of colored points of light from hundreds of galaxies in one small section of the universe. NASA researchers had no idea what they were getting into when they launched the cutting-edge James Webb Space Telescope on December 25, 2021, from the Guiana Space Center. Hello friends, welcome back to Infinite Science Channel. Astronomers had hoped to find signs of extraterrestrial life in the atmospheres of far-off planets and galaxies. But little did they know that the first images from the JWST would completely change how we view the universe. JWST has just revolutionized our way of exploring the universe. The President Joe Biden has called JWST a new window into the history of our universe. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson had claimed that humanity would soon have access to a completely new perspective on the universe that is unlike anything we have ever seen. Today, we'll examine the data the James Webb Space Telescope has given us to determine whether the strange light is a sign of life or the possibility of life on a planet orbiting an entirely different star. But before we continue, please spare some time to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. We need to take a step back and learn more about this remarkable technology in order to comprehend what the most sophisticated telescope in human history has unraveled. Can there be another Earth millions of kilometers away? Can JWST find it for us? This enormous telescope is operated by NASA in conjunction with its two partners, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. It is named in honor of James E. Webb, a NASA administrator who directed the Apollo program in the 1960s. This telescope was built for about $10 billion, but experts predict that it will pay back more than time and money spent on it. The photographs from the JWST that we recently received demonstrate that they were spot on in their predictions. In spite of the fact that it is without a doubt the biggest and most potent space scientific telescope in the annals of humankind, it took NASA almost 25 years to design and create this masterpiece. Currently, it is working at minus 266.75 degrees Celsius, which is a few degrees below absolute zero, which is minus 273 degrees Celsius. The James Webb Space Telescope orbits around the Sun rather than the Earth. At a distance of about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the JWST stays at a point known as the L2 Lagrange. This is how it manages to safely orbit around the Sun while maintaining its ideal temperature. Its primary frequency range of observation is from long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared wavelengths, which is a lesser frequency range than Hubble. It can see wavelengths between 0.6 and 28 micrometers. Its main mirror is composed of 18 gold-plated beryllium hexagonal mirror parts that work together to create a 6.5-meter diameter mirror. The James Webb is equipped with two IR cameras. The first one is a camera that uses near-infrared light, commonly known as a neocam, to record shorter infrared wavelengths. The second one uses a mid-infrared camera also known as Americum, to record longer infrared wavelengths. The photographs differ according to the camera that was used to take them. The five photographs that NASA has so far released from this enormous, one-of-a-kind telescope are nothing short of breathtaking, with stars emitting incredible blue and orange-like galaxies moving and crawling around one another in a tangle of stars and dust clouds. And some of the oldest light in the known universe, which was produced 13 billion years ago. All of this and more have been revealed by NASA in a press release issued on July 12. However, if the initial images have revealed so much, what might the upcoming James Webb data reveal? And has everything revealed good news? So far, the information obtained seems fairly harmless but you never know when things might change. NASA is expecting that this telescope will be able to observe light from distant parts of the universe, 
which may be as dangerous as it is fascinating. The spectrographic data of the exoplanet WASP-96b, which is located approximately 1150 light-years from Earth, is the most fascinating aspect of the data collected from the JWST. An exoplanet is any planet outside of our solar system. James Webb's near-inferred imager and slitless spectrograph, also known as the nearest, measure the intensity of various light wavelengths. WASP-96b is a mainly gaseous planet that is almost half the mass of Jupiter. The nearest mounted on the JWST measured the light emanating from it for around six and a half hours and plotted the data collected on a graph. According to this data, there may be water on this planet. Astronomers were able to study how molecules on this planet absorb and then re-emit light from its home star by breaking down the spectrum of light into its constituent wavelengths because it orbits its home star so closely that one year on this planet is equivalent to only 3.4 days on Earth. This quick orbital period is extremely important. The type and quantity of elements found in this planet's atmosphere have been identified by scientists. Despite the hope this image has given us, WASP-96b is too hot to support any form of life. The average temperature of this planet is around 530 degrees. However, the graphical depiction of this data helps scientists conclude that there is water on WASP-96b. In fact, there is a good amount of water vapor in the atmosphere of this planet. In order to advance their hunt for any evidence of life in the outer reaches of the cosmos, scientists do believe they can use spectrum photos of many other planets, even those outside of our solar system and galaxy. Stefan's Quintet, a collection of five tightly connected galaxies in the Pegasus constellation, is one of the primary targets of the James Webb Space Telescope. It is about 290 million light-years away from Earth. According to information from NASA, four of these extremely close galaxies are regularly flying past one another at a risky close distance. Out of these five galaxies, the leftmost galaxy is closer to our solar system than the others. It is about 40 million light years away, and that is why the image of this galaxy has a higher definition. The incredibly high quality image reveals that two galaxies in the quintet are in the process of merging into each other. Scientists believe they can learn more about the mysterious invisible yet huge substance known as dark matter by studying galaxy groups like this one. This will also help them better grasp how gravity acts at the biggest scales. The following NASA photograph shows the most beautiful cosmic baby boom you will ever see. The distance to the Earth from this dazzling glassy, Hot spot of star creation is roughly 7,600 light years. The boundary of a new star forming zone is depicted in the southern constellation of Carina. It looks just like a landscape consisting of mountains and valleys strewn with brilliant stars. Nebula astronomers claim that this location is one of the most active star forming zones they have ever observed. Scientists have already studied the Carina Nebula in depth, and it is home to many stars that are far larger than the Sun. But this new photograph appears to expose the cosmic cliffs in unfathomable detail. Hundreds of young stars that were undetectable to earlier telescopes are now visible because of the incredibly powerful James Webb Satellite Telescope. According to NASA officials, these images are so clear that they can now see jets and eddies of dust flowing across it, which have produced enigmatic formations. Even with the knowledge gained from this image of the Carina Nebula, researchers are still unable to make an educated guess. However, scientists are eager to learn as much as they can about the star-forming process because they think it may help them understand how our solar system came to be. Death of a Star The Eight Burst Nebula is another name for the enormous dying star's cloud of gas and dust, which has the form of an eight. A spectacular orange froth of molecular hydrogen can be seen whirling around a bluish haze of ionized gas in this galaxy, which is almost 2,500 light-years from Earth. The fading star visible at the center of this picture is expelling all of this. The same nebula's mid-infrared image reveals a second red star sparkling next to the dazzling blue one. 
The Southern Ring Nebula has always been known to be a binary system, but this is the first time the second star has been so clearly seen among the dense cloud of dust. However, like all the other images taken by the JWST, numerous clearly visible galaxies appear to be photobombing the background of this image, hinting at all the as of yet undiscovered secrets we might soon uncover. Light from beginning of the universe, the White House has released the first full-color image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, which is a picture of the cluster of galaxies known as SMACs. It has been in the making for 723 billion years, the most in-depth view of the magnificent universe of which we are a mere part is provided by this image with very high resolution and high definition. Scientists have been anxiously anticipating the success of this project and had high hopes for this mission to change our perception of the cosmos. But it wasn't simple to achieve these high resolution and full color images because the SMAC 723 cluster we see in this image is approximately 5 billion light years away from Earth. The pictures from this ultra modern magnifying telescope have brought delight and relief to scientists who have been waiting eagerly for this project to succeed. The successful completion of NASA's 20 year project to launch a cutting edge replacement for the famed Hubble Space Telescope. With the data from this telescope, scientists hope to make groundbreaking discoveries about topics like black holes, cosmic expansion, or perhaps the very first stars. On all fronts, science is about to explore previously unimaginable possibilities.